right, guys, look what showed up today. My Mauser Electronics order. And it's like Christmas. Every time I get parts, it's like Christmas. Let's see what we got. All right. Empty bag. Empty bag. All right. Here we have 0.150 volt little axial caps. Decoupling. Here I bought some 74LS161s. Here we have some, looks like polyfilm caps. Uh, these are my 33 nano farad capacitors for that sound section. And a bunch of 0.1 microfarad. Um, just decoupling, 0.1 uh, radials. I bought like a hundred radials and a hundred axial ones. So we got our caps. Well, now we can put that computer space together. That is exciting. So yeah, it is Tuesday night at about almost eight o'clock so yeah tonight it's not happening so we'll be out tomorrow morning to put that together i just finished a domino man repair that video is actually uploading as we speak and uh yeah so we'll put this together tomorrow and hopefully i'll have that part four video uploaded tomorrow for you guys so we'll see you then what are you guys doing what are you doing? Hi, baby. Boo boo, where are you at? Oh, hey, boo. Hey, boo. These guys are just hanging out. Boo boo. Hi, Boo Boo. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll put that uh, sound section together and have us some computer space with full sound tomorrow. See you then. All right, and getting back to computer space, I just finished, this is the motion board, and I just finished with the decoupling caps that I just received from Mauser Electronics. So I got them all populated. And I did replace these two, uh, I had originally put 220 microfarad caps in all four spots here, but I changed these two. These two were originally supposed to be 100 microfarad, and I did change those to the proper 100 microfarad. So this board is good to go now. All I got to do, and unfortunately, these 0.33 or uh, 33 nanofarad caps that I bought are 630 volt caps. Unfortunately, I mean that doesn't matter. I'm still going to use them, but it's just going to look goofy. But I thought, I thought I got 50 volt caps. I obviously did not get 50 volt caps. But it is what it is. They'll work. It's still 0 0.033 microfarad. So, all right. I'll go ahead and get on that other board and then we'll be done with this. All right. And here's how it looks. We got all the decoupling in. I use the axial decouplers in this board. And then these big 0 0.033 microfarad caps, I stood them up on end so that it looks decent. 
Oh, I forgot one right here. Okay, I forgot one right there. And it looks like it. So I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah. And it looks like they have a spot for another one right here. Which is unpopulated. I won't bother with that. But I will put the one in here. So let me do that really quick and then we'll hook this thing up. All right, I have this thing all put back together, and I was just curious, out of curiosity, I wanted to see what this thing drew as far as amperage once all of the proper decoupling and everything was put into this board. So I got it hooked up to this power supply, and at 4.9 volts, 5 volts, it's pulling 1.8 amps. Of current and I bet you this thing I wish I would have done this test before I did all the decoupling I bet you it would have been up over three amps but that's what this thing if it's got proper decoupling should pull 1.75 amps one point yeah one and a, one and three quarter amps which would have been absolutely fine to use that 3 amp power supply. But with bad decoupling, yeah. Where we're going. As you can see it, sound works just fine. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and do this little, uh, see what this thing actually drew. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook the power, so the little, that guy up, back up to it. And we'll do some gameplay, but yeah, this thing, sounds are all working perfect. Be right back. Okay, we're ready for some trying to do some gameplay. We'll mess around with doing some switch inputs anyway. Let me turn the lights off for dramatic effect. Okay. And zoom in a touch. Okay, and let's get fire ready to go and coin.
Boy, I got my butt kicked. It's hard to play with these switches. I'm going to play one more time. But it's extremely hard to do this with these switches. I did off camera win one time and I did go into extra play so I know that that works. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to get towards you know to, to have a higher score than the uh, computer so that I can go into extra play. But uh, yeah it's just it's hard. All right so let's do it again. I got to adjust the, uh, I believe it's the vertical hold is a little off. There we go. Oh no, now it's even further off. It's right here. There we go. I was messing around with the controls a little bit earlier. Darn it. Alright, I had to mess around with the controls that game. I'm going to play one more time. Here we go. Start. Dang it, I'm getting my ass kicked. Ugh. Yeah. I had it going for a minute. Alright, I'm going to turn the light back on. Yeah, I had it going for a second there, but I just couldn't keep it going. All right, excellent. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one sitting here running for a few hours. Make sure it continues good. And yeah, pretty awesome. So I will uh, let this one run, like I said, and call this good. This board set is finished. Everything works. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the series. I'm, ho I'm hoping you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next Classic Arcade Repair. Computer Space. How awesome. Yeah. Nice new caps everywhere. All right, guys. 
We'll see you on the next one. And bye for now.